Live from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Good evening, I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Glenn Mills. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. It's been more than a year now since police say a U of U student murdered his girlfriend inside a downtown hotel. Yes, the victim's parents, Zifan Dong, say they have been anxiously waiting for a trial, but there's been a holdup. ABC 4's Courtney Johns explaining why this process is taking so long. It's all in tonight's Justice Files. Courtney. Police say Hawu Wang told police he gave him and his girlfriend Jifan Dong these drugs because they wanted to die by suicide. But court documents suggest a much more violent history. And now Wang's medical history is playing a role in this case. 465 days have passed since Jifan Dong's body was found inside a Salt Lake City Quality Inn. Police saying they learned about her death from an email Hawu Wang sent to the University of Utah staff where he and his girlfriend, Jifeng, were international students. That email stated he injected her with heroin and both would be dead when they were found. Wang later telling police he purchased the drugs on the dark web. 30 days before this, police arrested Wang on an assault charge, accused of hitting Jifeng. This is their only daughter. This is the only uh, grandchild of four grandparents. And so to a certain extent, they're hope for the future of their family has ended with the loss of their daughter. Zhifeng's family attorney says the relationship was fairly new and they didn't know much about him. They clearly didn't uh, understand the, the magnitude of the risk or the, or the problem that their daughter faced when she was at the University of Utah and in that abusive relationship. He says all her family wants is a fair trial, but that is being delayed. Mr. Wang is not competent to proceed at this time. Wang's defense says he has a limited mental functioning, adding that he has been hospitalized at least eight times, both in China and the U.S. His past diagnoses range from mania, PTSD, major depressive disorder, and borderline personality disorder. His defense also states Wang's delusions, primarily that he is being eternally punished and his case outcome is foreordained, prevent him from being rational. And the hearing today is a competency review hearing. Now out of jail, Wang is being treated at the Utah State Hospital in the hopes he can be restored to competency. They can review more thoroughly the most recent competency report prepared by the Department of Human Services. Under Utah law, DHS can spend up to 37 months trying to restore him. If he's still not competent, the judge could dismiss the charges. Dr. Brooks uh, went through 645 pages of his, of his treatment records from the jail. So he has extensive treatment records that way. Those records are private. Today's discussion in court, lasting less than five minutes. Okay, thank you, everybody. 6,000 miles away, Zhifang's parents continue to wait for answers. They sent her to the United States to, to get an education and, and to have a bright future, and unfortunately, they never saw her again because of uh, the actions of this defendant. The University of Utah ended up paying Zhifang Dong's family $5 million in a settlement over it, how it handled domestic abuse reports involving Wang. Wang is scheduled to be back in court in July for an update on his treatment. Back to you.